Hello everyone, welcome to RGB Tech. Today we're diving into something truly exciting, like how about running Windows emulation on smart TV? What? Yes, you heard that right. So in this video, we'll be testing out WinLater emulator on a Google smart TV. Ah! 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 Why are you running? Why are you running? Yeah, well, we all know it's based on Android. Whether you're a tech lover looking to try something new or just curious about what's possible, this video is for you. Let's dive in. All right, so this one right here has just only two gigs of RAM, only with 768 megabytes of available memory. It comes with eight gigs of storage space. Out of, we got only four gigs for user memory. That's very huge. It comes with AmLogic quad-core processor, up to two gigahertz clock speed based on Cortex A35. Running on 64-bit instruction set, locked to 32-bit mode. Here the scaling governor set to shed util means it makes decisions based on the utilization data provided by the scheduler. This chip can only run 32-bit based Android packages. All right, let's jump to display section. As you can see, it comes with Mali G31 GPU, clocked up to 650 megahertz. It's basically the ultra efficiency dual core GPU. Supports OpenGL 3.2, and these are the extensions. All right, it also comes with bit old dated Android 11 TV OS. This GPU can also support Vulkan 1.1. And remember guys, these TV chips are primarily optimized for video processing, like handling 4K and HDR10 content. All right, so I'll go to browser and search for WinLater. Here I'll go with the older version of WinLater 5 because the latest version 7 package isn't optimized for 32-bit mode system. Simply on assets, download the package. Head over to download section, install package. All right, the installation process will take a bit more time from three to five minutes. Go to settings. System settings, so here we need to enable developer options. Go to about OS build info. Tap multiple times to enable developer options. All right, now go to developer options. Enable don't keep activities. Also set background process limit to no processes as we are running on a very low RAM. Okay, now go to app section. WinLater, so here I already set up and installed this emulator. So let's dive in. Open WinLater. Go to settings. This version of WinLater is based on Wine 8.0. I'll leave these box 64 and 86 to default. Set both presets to intermediate. Save settings. Now create a container. Simply I'll give it a name. Set resolution to the lowest possible to 640 into 480. Don't set to high. Set graphics driver to VirGL, as it's universal for all devices. DX wrapper to Wine 3D. Audio driver to Pulse Audio. Here, as you can see, we have only four cores. All efficiency A35 cores. Now go to Wine configuration. All these are same as usual. Here, set GPU name to Intel HD 4000. Set video memory size to 512 megabytes, least as possible. Same, all these are same as usual. Enable stop services at startup and save container. Okay, so let's check out the storage space it utilized. No problem. Well, we are almost running out of storage space. All right, guys, it's time to boot Windows container on our smart TV. It's loading. Oh, oh, it ended up showing just a blank white screen. Oh shit, it restarts again. Well, it looks like two gigs of RAM just isn't enough to load up things in emulation. Now let's see how this Mali G31 TV GPU can actually perform in real time in graphics as it comes with OpenGL 3.2, Vulkan 1.1 base. Here we are going to test an intensive C benchmark Android. Oh, hell no. It's getting like two frames on average. All right, we got a score of 226. That's pretty low if we compared to an average smartphone of today. But for a smart TV, that's okay. Well, smart TVs are really just meant for watching TV and streaming Netflix, YouTube content, or whatsoever. Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this test. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.